When we first opened, we thought that nobody that we knew from the industry was going to find us here because of where we are located. And that first year, getting all of the highlight and recognition was just something that was great and unexpected. Every single dish is a memory. Every single dish in Cantina is unique. When we cook as a chef or as a cooks, we put a part of our heart, part of our, uh, what we have. My passion is because I want to show like how the mix of Mexican food is great, like especially with like pre-Hispanic ingredients or pre-Hispanic techniques. It's a history in every single dish. He grew up with these pre-Hispanic ingredients and tradition, and it's a big part of who he is as a person. One of the biggest success has been being nominated for James Beard um, on our first year. This is the dish I love, this is how I feel, this is how I express. And this, that's the passion I put up in single dish. To be in a Russian business, you have to be a little bit out of your mind. If you know that crazy, is, I don't know, it's tough. You have to have the courage to do it and the commitment. You sacrifice your personal life. If you have a family, spending with the kids, wife and everything, I think is one of the worst sacrifices you can make or the big commitment you have to make. It's, it's hard. You like to love pressure. It's fun, it's good to make people happy, especially when uh, your customers enjoy everything. I think it's really enjoyable to see that. But uh, definitely it's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress every day. I think it's everything or nothing. You need to have your partner next to you, support you, or it's not gonna work. A Russian business is a little bit interesting because you never know how it's going to be your day. You can have a really great day one day and the next day it can be the worst day. So I think that's the fun. Hello. I don't think any day in the Russians go like smooth. And these pictures is the first time when I went to Jens Beer with Mark Betri. We went to Jens Beer Foundation when it was, when it was in New York. That's uh, Mark Betri, myself, and Jeff Benjamin, and here is Jeff Michu. That's the first time I went to see what was Jens Beer Foundation. And I, for me, I seen that and like, I don't think I'm never gonna be here. But that was the goal, like one day I wanna do this. but. I was so that was a dream and I never thought gonna be there one day. Coming into Kensington, we realized that um, it comes with a higher ticket because we are in an area that people uh, classify as not being safe. Finding insurance for our business, we pay twice as much as you would in any other regular restaurant. It's not fair for anybody to sleep on the street when it's hot, when it's cold, with no food, with no showers, no medical attention. That's empathizing with them. That's supporting them. You're looking for what's the best for them. That's our mission here, to, to see how we can help, how we can work with everybody and support each other. Opening Cantina, early on, we realized that we needed to add to our business plan the importance of being part of the community and connecting meaning meaningfully with the community. You're like, okay. because every time I see her, I end up walking out with three, four books. She's like, oh, this one's good, and this one's good. Yeah, it was good. Very good.
yes. is vital to the neighborhood and sure. to, uh, yeah, like for representation and for also just like good, a good quality spot. Yeah, definitely. Every morning we are up by 7 o'clock and we are in South Philly sourcing most of our ingredients that we use because it has been very difficult to find vendors that want to work with us in this area. There are some, some particular things that we like to get, for example, um, our bone marrow. We're very specific of where we pick that uh, from. Our Mexican products that we source locally, we have a store that we know that we will find fresh epazote, or we will find um, uh, some of the herbs that we use in our cuisine, or the cheese. Um, so yes, part of that is um, why we go to South Philly, but there is a bulk of things that we could very well be getting from a vendor. I think the way we support each other is we beat each other first, beginning of the day. Then it's like everything's in calm and we figure out how we want to do this and it's nothing's perfect. Also like knowing each other is like identifying each other's strength. Like chef is so much better at being like a good judge of character. What are Maria's strengths? Everything. <laughs> Everything. End of the day is we do one thing we love. It's a restaurant business and it's cantina, it's our employees. And I think since we open, we have almost the same employees. We're family, like, except I have my son here, I have my nephew here. And this is my little brother who never met to, like, when he was six or seven. On the carnitas, we have everything you can it's come from the pork. It's on the lard with milk, Mexican soda, beer, and all the herbs and spices. And we confit kind of the middle, cook it in that farm. Our employees are exactly that, they're family, they're um, friends from San Mateo de Solco. We have um, some people from the community that have also joined us. Tina is like a daughter to both Chef and I. We're a pretty tight family here at Cantina. It's two words, you know. I feel proud of who, who I am. I'm an immigrant, I'm Mexican, I feel proud about it. But also I feel proud to be in Philly, to have my life and family here. What's better to have those two united, you know? Philly is my home now, it's my family here. That's where I live, that's where I do everything, that's where I have my business. And I love the city. So bring something where I grow up and I know people are going to like it, so bring something for my hometown and my new home. <laughs>